Okay, so yeah, we are going to play through day two on Junimo. This is my new island that we just started yesterday. And then we'll switch over to Korok and see some of the more up some more of the update stuff. Um, Small Jan, thank you for the brand new Twitch Prime sub. Welcome in. I hope you enjoy all your emotes, all of your time here. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for that support. I am so excited for all of the Animal Crossing content. Oh my god. <sighs> oh. Here's a little Dom. So our starters were Dom and Plucky. Oh yeah! Oh dear, so sorry about that. The volume was a little loud there. Uh, hello everyone. Starting today, I'll be doing an island-wide broadcast full of island updates, goings-on, and such. Hmm? I'll go over some things that are very important to island life, so lend me your island ears for a short time. Now it's only fitting we kick off this daily ritual with a doozy of an island announcement. The Junimo Airport is now open for business. Starting today, you can use online or local communication to fly to other islands for a visit. And that's not all. No, no, the airport counter now offers postal services. And just like resident services, the airport is open 24 hours a day, so please do drop by for a look. <laughs> Hi, Shania. Thank you so much. This blue in my hair was actually an accident because we were trying to get the purple out to go back to platinum. And I figured there would still be some purple left over, like some like a lavender color, but there was this like seafoam color uh, underneath instead. So yeah, we're embracing it. It's a happy accident. <laughs> um, oh hi, Olive Leaf! Change your name from Angelic Turret. We love a rebrand. I hope you have a fun time streaming today. Thanks for letting us know. Hi, Tasty. The labor costs of 24-hour business. Cannot imagine. Um, I do have one other item to share, and it, too, is a whopper. Hmm? As of this very day, a brilliant fellow named Blathers will be joining us on Junimo. Blathers has a keen interest in biology, past and present, and he's here to study Junimo. I sincerely hope everyone lends their cooperation. Inquisitive residents should stop by his tent for details. What's up, Jasmine? Welcome in. Um, Meg, I did not restart my island. I still have Korok Island. This is a new island on a separate switch. So we will be playing um, on Korok Island um, after this, after we play through this day on this island. Oh, there's the Members of Island Life 101 service tips. Cool. So it just shows up on loading screens. That's nice. Very Skyrim of them. <clears throat> Thank you, Shania. I appreciate it. <laughs> Here we are at our house with our <laughs> lovely uh, tree. Right in front of our door. <laughs> Hi, Plucky. Good morning. What's up, Chicky Poo? Where are you headed? Chicky Poo. This weather rocks. Feels like anything I do is gonna turn out awesome, Chicky Poo. Oh my gosh, Kitty, what'd you get from Taco Bell? <gasps> do tell. Do tell. <clears throat> One room loner. Uh, the theme for this new island is going to be an urban city that's been uh, reclaimed by nature. So it's mostly going to be... Um, 
Like, the, the, the big part of the island is going to be, like, a city that's, you know, got, like, decaying fences and roads and, and stuff like that. Um, and then I also want to have, like, a mysterious magic forest on the island. Uh, my character is going to be the farmer. Yeah, Plucky, you just sit right in front of my house. You do that. Um, oh, mushroom! So, yeah, that's going to be the theme. I'm excited. Oh, look! We can already start doing uh, exercises. I haven't done that yet. And here's Dom. We gotta talk to everybody every day. What's the latest? Gotta start the day off right. Muscles are a lifestyle in Deedaroo. Hey, I heard your tent finally hit the gym bulked up to a house. Congrats! I'm thinking I might drop by sometime to check on your... Free weight situation. Keep an eye out. <gasps> okay, so that's like a new bit of dialogue. How the villagers are saying they wanna they want to visit. Maybe it's friendly. <laughs> okay, we gotta collect all the mushrooms. Um this island is a few days ahead of real time for some reason. I am gonna change it back to real time. I just forgot to check before we actually started up. Oh, and if you missed it, here is the map of Junimo. I'm really excited about it. We spent like three hours resetting yesterday for it. Uh, I really wanted a resident services that lines up perfectly with the airport, which it doesn't look like it does on the map, but I promise it does. Um, and I really wanted a map that was very different from my current map on Korok Island. And it is. I love the like two southern river mouths. I love the placement of the peninsula and the secret beach. I'm very happy about it. Um, Cause like, here's the airport and it goes up perfectly to the middle of resident services. So I'll be able to have, um, you know, like a road that goes directly from the airport to resident services. Um, it'll be perfectly centered and I'm so excited. <sighs> Okay, I have to remember to check the beach for DIYs. Oh, and here's... We'll, we'll go meet Blathers. Well, I guess because we can't access the other side of the rivers yet. We can't check the entire... Oh, well, here it is. But we should be able to access the... We should be able to get the, the, the pole today, I think. Um, oh, it's from Apple. A wooden table mirror. Classic. What's up, Umbaloid? Hello, hello. What's up, Gabster? Enjoying your stream working on my island. Here for the cozy vibes. It's good to have you. I'm so excited to see the rest of the update content. Oh my gosh. Um, okay, let's go see Blathers. I've got all those uh, <laughs> fishies and insects ready to give him. Hey, Mallow. Yep, a whole new island. Um, I still have my original island, Korok Island. Um, this is the second island on Joey's Switch, so never fear. God, I love the way Blather's tent looks. I really wish that... I wish there was a way for him to keep this tent, but also have a huge museum where we can, like, donate everything to, you know? I want the best of both worlds. Oh yeah, I can get a swimsuit. Right, 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 right. A pleasure to meet you. My name is Blathers. I am exceedingly interested in the ecosystem on this island, thus I will have to come... I have come to conduct research, if you will. Could it be? You are Misha? The personage who chose the location for this tent? That's me. A oh, splendid job indeed. Thanks to you, I was able to alight on this island with nary a ruffled feather. <laughs> Now, regarding the aforementioned research, truth be told, I'm determined to open a museum and henceforth dwell on this island amongst you. So, should you discover a new type of insect or fish, do be so kind as to bring it here. I plan to exhibit these creatures as well as those you gave Tom Nook in the museum upon its completion. Tough, I confess. There is one smallish problem regarding said museum. Oh, tough, not tough, though. 
<laughs> Though, uh, I lack the number of exhibits needed to secure permission to open a museum proper. Empty display cases will not do, I'm told. Display cases with something to display. That is another matter. Uh, which is where you come in, what, what? Allow me to- what, 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 what? A what? How do you say that? I don't understand it. Um, is it a British thing? I don't know. Uh, it's not only insects and fish I plan to display in my esteemed institution, but fossils, too. As it happens, there sits a substantial stretch of land beyond the river. I would be- I would bet my pin feathers this primitive plot is flush with fossils I require. But the river, you say? I can't just hop over it, you say? Oh, silly you. I have a solution as audacious as trying to populate an entirely desert island, deserted island. Pardon me, Misha, while I transmit the vital data to your Nook phone. Uh, hi there, Sarah. Thank you so much. I really, really hope Celeste joins the museum eventually, too. <sighs> With wood gathered from Junimo, one can make a lengthy vaulting pole. This pole can be used to propel oneself across the river. Up and over you go. <laughs> I sent DIY schematics for a shovel to dig fossils from the ground as well. Oh, good, 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 good. Cross the river and seek out those ancient relics. My feathers, I've blathered on far too long. Let me leave you with this. Time to open the museum. I must acquire more items. Fifteen more, to be precise. I fervently hope you will donate your precious finds to the cause. All right, let's go. Because, yeah, uh, Brewster, the cafe is at, like, the top right of the stairs, or the top left of the stairs. So, um, Celeste could be at the top right of the stairs. Okay, some of these I've already given to Nook. How many spaces do I have in my pockets? Not too many. Here, let me... I'm gonna do some crafting. I'm gonna pick up all the sticks and mushrooms I can find. Make the shovel, make the vaulting pole. I <sighs> love how peaceful a new island is. We need symmetry! Please! I have so many sticks. Can you go into- I know I can't right now because neither of them are home, but can you go into the villagers' homes when they're just tents? Do need to go talk to Nook as well. Lucky's just testing out all the trees. She's just sitting under all the trees. <laughs> Oh, what's on the bulletin board? Um, we've placed a tape deck in front of resident services so you can enjoy daily group stretching sessions. Remember, happy island living begins with daily exercise. Um, I think I want to do that for the first time on Korok Island with all my babies. Yeah, the constellations is so cool. Oh, hello. So you see, since the number of homeowners is increasing, I agree we need to build a shop. However, when it comes to building supplies, our customers' homes should take priority. Oh yeah, I forgot. My first bulletin post was boobies. <laughs> um, we are dropping frames today. Yeah, so it's not you. Uh, we've been having internet issues or Twitch connection issues. It's actually better today, so <laughs> that's good. <laughs> This song gets me every time. I'm gonna cry. I'm emotional. Katie, thank you for the three years. Um, oh my god. Thank you so much. I love you. How are you? Welcome back. Hi, hi, hi. Thank you so much for the 36 months. Oh my god. Um. So Tom Nook is talking to Timmy and Tommy about making a shop. Well, hello there, Misha. 
Are you happy with your home? Is it meeting your expectations? I bet you'll be a lot more comfortable now. Houses are so different from tints, hmm? You can freely change up the flooring and wallpaper. And you've got some built-in storage so you can put away any furniture you aren't using. Oh yes, there's more. All homeowners are automatically registered with the Happy Home Academy. The HHA, as we call it, will evaluate your home on a regular basis and send you helpful advice. They even send rewards to members whose homes achieve high ratings. Their evaluations won't intrude on your day-to-day -day life, so there's no need to worry. Just enjoy the fun. So how do they evaluate our homes? They come in the, the dead of night to just assess our homes? Oh, it's good to have you here, Katie. We're playing through day two on the new island, and we're going to switch over uh, to Korok uh, here after we play through this day to check out the DLC and more of the update stuff. I'm so excited. Oh, my new home loan. It's a, just 98,000 bells is all. That's it. <laughs> Don't worry. You can pay it back in installments, big or small. Payments can be made using the ABD feature on the Nook Stop. I think that's everything I need to tell you about homes today. But I do have a nice surprise for you. I do hope you're ready for this. It's a premium miles redemption item, a Nook Miles ticket. It's a special travel voucher you can only get by redeeming Nook Miles. It's a conundrum, hmm? We want to improve our island, but still hold on to that deserted island magic. Well, now you can do both. You can use one of these tickets to do some island hopping adventuring. Go anytime you want. Maybe you're looking to meet some new characters or gather materials for DIY projects. Um, your trip is yours to enjoy in the way you like. I've left your ticket at the counter of the airport to... Oh, so use it whenever the travel mood strikes. Now then, go enjoy life in your freshly built home. Indeed. Um, okay, I'm not sure if there's anything we... Uh, I'm gonna do some crafting, but... Um, oh, I've been meaning to talk to you about Timmy's shop, or rather, I've been meaning to point you in Timmy's direction. He should have the details for you. Okay. Hello. Hi there, Misha. Congrats on your new home. I have something I would like to chat about. If you have a moment, that is. It's a bit of a proposal, so if now's not a good time, I understand. Nope, let's go. Lay it on me. Very good. I'll get right to the point. I'm hoping you might be interested in collaborating on a new venture, building a new shop. After all, our little island community is growing, and our needs are growing, too. I'd love to offer a much wider inventory of goods, but as you can see, I'm a bit limited in here. I've already spoken with our fearless leader, of course, and he agrees that we have a need. Here's the thing. Building materials are hard to get, so we can set them aside. Can we set them aside for building a shop? I really don't see it, since we'll need those materials for residential projects. But I have an idea. Um, yes, yes. You could gather up materials from around the island, right? From the trees and rocks? Our environmental review even suggests that there will be zero impact to native flora or fauna. But I'm getting off track. We'll need a lot of materials for a proper shop. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Yeah, Junimo's the name of the island. I'm very excited. What's up, Sophie? Happy you're not streaming anything from the update yet. Every other AC streams a spoiler for me at the moment. Um, and love the blue hair. Thank you, Sophie. We are going to be streaming some of the update content later. Um, we're going to play through day two on Junimo, and then I am going to swap over to uh, my first island, Korok Island, and we'll check out the update stuff from, uh, from there. But yeah, I'm liking having a mix of like beginning of game you know fresh new island stuff and also checking out the update so kind of we're going at our own pace you know as we say on both islands okay 30 pieces of regular wood oh geez and 30 iron nuggies dear lord you can gather these materials at your own pace. He heard us. Once you have a set of something, come see me. Oh, Kidoki. The grinding begins. Yep. Let's go. Um, okay, we need one of these. This is giving me nostalgia to early game last year when people were desperately searching for iron, yes. Uh, 
It's gonna be fun. Oh, I need softwood for the vaulting pole and hardwood for that. Okay, well, let's see if there's anything in the recycle bin yet. I need to give you a brief introduction to that box there. That's a recycle box for all island residents to use. We'll be using it for items removed during construction and such. If you see anything you like, feel free to take it right home. If the box gets full, we'll get rid of the oldest items first, so don't delay in picking out what you want. Oh, yay. A cardboard box and three sticks. <laughs> Hi, Jillian. Ba -da -da -da. Jillian, thank you for the 21 months of tier two. You can drink in the stream now. Congratulations. <laughs> it is a, a so good to see ya. Welcome on in. All right, here we go. Oh, right, full pockets. Oh, I love our little, oh, whoopsie. I love our little purple roof. Plucky is just, won't leave my house alone. <laughs> Um, turn lights off, decorating mode, storage, turn lights on and off. Uh huh. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, gosh, we've got so much to do and see. Uh, let me put that in storage. Put all the mushrooms in storage and the acorns. I'll sell the shells and the weeds. We'll put this lovely cardboard box over here. Ah, beautiful. Just what the space needs. Lovely. What's up, Z Crossing? Welcome on in. Hello, hello. Okay, now we can pick everything up. We should be able to um, make the vaulting pole and the shovel here soon. We can start getting I I know we could get iron with the little axe, but uh oh, we got some dailies. Okay, and I do have some weeds to sell. How many do I have? 18. I need 20 for <laughs> the daily. Yeah, I, I think I'm gonna try to be um, slow about plucking the weeds so I can be sure to get those daily nook miles. Oh no! Plucky! <laughs> Listen, that's what Plucky gets for just posting up outside my house all day. Oh wait, I do need to get stung so that I can- there's nook miles you get for getting stung the first time. Plucky, you good. <laughs> What's up? I heard you were getting stuff together for a shop. That's right. I don't know how she knows that. She's been standing in front of my house for the last... 24 hours. Thanks for doing your part for Junimo. Oh, I got an idea. If they've got you gathering stuff for a shop, you might want this. <gasps> what an angel. I figured out how to make that shovel from this awesome collection of DIY recipes. It's called a Pretty Good Tools Recipes. So far, everything I've built from there has been super sturdy. Anyway, if you dig with that shovel, go get... Oh, if you dig that shovel, go get that collection. You'll be buried in shovels in no time, Chicky Poo. Aww. Thanks, pluckers. I guess you're all right. You're giving me stuff. I forgot I made a million, uh... Fishing rods. God, oh god, here we go. Uh... Uh, 
Um, my fit does coordinate with my my P C C B pumpkin cream cold brew. Yeah. <laughs> You are too right, Mocho. Oh god, it's so yummy. Money rock, let's go! Hell yeah. Oh, and we got Miles! This is so peaceful. I'm gonna get... I don't know. We should take bets on how long it takes before I get frustrated with <laughs> with this game, with not being able to find uh, the materials I need. Can't be too long. Um... God, you know what I should do? So, like, I know what trees I've chopped and which ones I haven't is just, like, leave the wood on the ground. and then go around and pick it up. So that I know I haven't missed any. God, when is this gonna break? Watch out, Dom! Well, there it goes. Um... Uh, Becca, yeah, I got these overalls from Shein, actually. And I love them. They're super comfy. It's a little chilly to be wearing these today, but I've been really wanting to wear this outfit. So I was like, ah, screw it. Aw, thank you, Blush Milks. That's super sweet. That makes me really happy. I'm always very self-conscious about my content. Hi there, Moon Witch. Welcome, welcome in. Oh, I don't think I have enough. Oh, I do. Okay. I was gonna say I don't think I have enough sticks for uh, another axe, but I do. Um, I'll make one more axe. Sheehan comes in clutch 100% of the time. I was so uh, skeptical of Sheehan because I mean, like, you hear mixed things, which is understandable, because some of this, like, it is cheaper, it is across the board lower quality than other places, but it's so affordable, uh, when money's tight, it's such a good place to buy from. Um, but, like, even though things are lower quality, like, a lot of it is still, like, even though it's lower quality, it's still good quality, if that makes sense. It's like good lower quality stuff. It's a good good quality low quality. Oh and yeah, peaches are our island fruits. Oh no. No 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 no. I'll just I'll just get stung. I'll just do it. Oh my, can you just run from them for forever? Oh god. <laughs> what that scare me. Uh, Kalina! Oh my god, thank you so much for extending your sub through August... ...of next year? What the heck? I thought somebody told me you got miles for getting stung. Somebody's a liar. Who is it? Play back the tapes. Somebody's getting banned. I don't know who it is. Thank you, mods. You have to get stung twice. I feel like this is just an elaborate ploy from chat to make me keep getting stung by wasps. <laughs> I don't know if I trust you. You have to get stung twice? See, now I feel like you're just saying what the other people in chat are saying. Suspicious. Hmm. 
Um, Umbloid, I'm not going to be super strict about time traveling. I'm not planning on time traveling past, uh... I don't know. I might do a little bit of time traveling today, but I'm really excited about checking out the DLC. Um... So yeah, I'm not going to be super strict about time traveling, but I'm also not really planning on doing any today. But I also don't want to get excessive with time traveling. I do want to take it at at a at a good steady pace and uh nope. Not rush into things, especially since I now have two islands to play, you know. <clears throat> Okay, you get stung twice. I wouldn't lie to you, your hair's Taco Bell approved. <laughs> okay, two. But how much iron do we need? Like 20 or something? Or 15? I don't know. Okay, I believe you all. I guess I'll get stung again the next time we see wasps. <sighs> Where's another rock? There it is. It's a rock back. Okay, and we have to give some stuff to Blathers. 30 of each! <sighs> if I had pearls, I'd be clutching them. Yeah, we might not get all the materials for the shop until tomorrow, which is okay. Um, this was the money rock, wasn't it? Mm, maybe not. No, because I left the holes dug behind it, so I have not hit this one yet. Whoopsie. Boop -a -doo. Just woke up and it's 6 p.m. Oh my goodness, Charlie. Time you go to bed. Did you stay up late playing Animal Crossing? Uh, can I have a Baja Blast? Ten, zero out of ten. Un unoriginal. Can I have a small Misha Crossing Air Soda? Ten out of ten. Fun and creative. Promotes your favorite streamer. Oh my god. Callie, please. Oh, now Plucky's chasing a grasshopper. Bless her soul. Oh my god, it just jumped on her, and she's she didn't freak out or nothing. <clears throat> okay, 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 okay. Um, I think I have enough. Yeah, let me go craft the... The pole. <gasps> Played Animal Crossing till 6 a.m.? Oh my goodness, you are not a fool. You were spending your time in a way that you enjoyed it. That is quite late slash early, though. Right? I call, yeah, I call that an achievement. That's amazing. I don't know the last time I stayed up until the next morning. I don't know the last time I stayed up past 1 a.m. Oh, we can go to the other side of the river. I'm so excited. Oh, shoot. Hold on. I need to sell a few things. Uh, back inside we go. Uh, no. I have no information about building the shop yet. I have 8 out of 30 iron nuggies. Oh, I think I've already given a locust to Nook slash Blathers, but I don't want to sell it just in case, so I will keep it for now. Sounds good. Been playing till three or four all week. Ooh, you have been. Did you restart your island, or have you been preparing for the updates? Um, ooh, I need to plant flower seeds. I need to catch five bugs. 
Need to redeem Nook Miles. I am sure there's something I can redeem. I love that you get Nook Miles for redeeming Nook Miles. <laughs> Uh, hi Annie, how are you doing today? Ooh, I almost have enough for the tools. Um, oh, I don't have enough. Okay, hold on, let me get a few more tools because I really want to change my hair. I mean, I guess I could change my hair to just another regular hairstyle. I'll save up a little bit more. Gotta spend miles to make miles, as they say. <laughs> Emily, enjoy your lurk. Thanks for hanging out. And Mac and Gu- Oh, Gouda. Enjoy your lurk. Okay, let me... Give what I can to... Lathers. I'm just gonna... Drop some stuff so I have room for our fishy and buggy friends. Boop, boop. Boop, boop. What do you mean there's no room? Feel like I've already given a dragonfly. We'll see. Then we can go look for fossils. We're listen, we're littering temporarily. We're gonna pick it back up. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, I'm just blocking the view of lathers. Oh, I can only do one at a time. A damselfly, the horror, the repugnance, good heavens. <laughs> Thrace, thank you so much for the 613 sub. Welcome back. Thank you for half of a year and congrats on your new Korok mask badge that you just unlocked with that resub. Um, We're not gonna listen to, to Blather's info right now. I'm in a hurry. Oh my gosh, why do I have to do them individually? Uh. I'm going at my own pace, but my own pace is in a hurry to get to Korok Island to decorate villager houses. Oh, I asked for info for this one. Morbidly fascinated by each fish's eye placement. The dab's eyes are both on its right side, while the olive flounders are on the left. Huh. Oh, thank you for the Korok. <laughs> Profoundly upsetting to fans of symmetry? Yes. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Is there not- is, th is there gonna be a fishy in that tank? I hope so. Okay, so I had donated the locust, but not the grasshopper. Yeah, Margo's hanging out up here. She's a baby. She she would probably rather be on the f the the porch watching her birds, but too bad. A yellow perch. Might I interest you in a few facts? Not right now. I'm sorry, Blathers. I love you. I feel bad. Um. Okay. Oh, I forgot we still have our... Our boo-boo from getting stung. Alright. Let's, let's... <gasps> Over the river! 
Oh my goodness. Um, oh, yeah, I did want to do that. Uh, okay, I don't have any dailies for, um... Shells just yet, just for bugs. And then I need to... Oh, oh, eat, oh. Ah, dang it. Then I need to find fossils for blathers. I bet I can't find all of them. Because I bet some of them are up here. I love that I got wind flowers as my native flower. They're my favorite. Oh. <gasps> Yay. Haven't found the vine cap in Island, but some of the islands I found have been pretty interesting. The only island I've been to. Well, I've been to the first one that everybody gets. Um, and then my next one was a vine island, which was just... So fortuitous. Nope. Nope. There we go. Oh, hey! There's one. May I ask a DLC-related question, or would that be considered a spoiler? Um, you can ask a question. If I don't want to see the answer to it, I will let you know. Thank you for being considerate. I appreciate it. Oh, there's a weed there. I forgot. Nope. Hi, Red Rum. Yes, I did get stung by wasps. I did it on purpose because chat said if I get stung twice, I get miles for it. So. Trust in chat. Wee! Margo's just chilling here. Uh. Oop, here's one. Is that a weed? I'm calling the police! Oh, there's another one. How many fossils are there per day? Four? Um, we have not done any island hopping yet, Ghosty. No. We are just, uh... Ooh. I need to favorite my, my net. We are just trying to get uh, fossils for blathers and get some daily uh, miles and stuff like that. Cool, so I can give that to blathers. Um, ooh, I need to get a clam. Ooh, there's a bug up there. Slowly, so slowly. Yay! I caught a wharf roach. This water loving roach has no peer. What? Um, oh. Well, I guess I'm out of space in my pockets now. Um, I'll get rid of a fish. I suppose. Margo. Oh. Margo is not a fan of the other cats. She just hissed and hopped back up here. Okay. Where's the claim? Margo, you're fine. Calm down. Whoop. Mary just wants to play so bad. And Margo does not. I just got an idea for a DIY recipe. Cute. Um, food I just made could 100% be an Animal Crossing pumpkin. <gasps> Tortellini with mushroom sauce? That sounds so good. Okay, 
Let's take this stuff to Blathers. When in the DLC you start de redecorating villagers' homes on the island? Ooh, yeah, I'm not sure. If anybody knows the answer, feel free. I'm sure you just have to re- like, I'm sure you just have to make a certain number of homes for, you know, paradise villagers, but I don't know exactly how many. Oh yeah, we got fossils now. A paper kite butterfly, what a wretched thing. Blathers. That's so rude. With its black and white striped wing pattern, the paper kite butterfly is both elegant and pretty. <laughs> pretty poisonous, I mean. <laughs> Even this butterfly's, bl butterfly's black and white striped larva and little golden pupae are toxic to predators. Huh. Its foul flavor is famous, and birds in particular steer clear of the fiends. This bird most of all. Any hoot. Yeah, we're gonna try the, uh, the DLC here in a little bit. I'm so excited. After we do some... Some day two errands and whatnot on, on this island. Been craving Taco Bell ever since watching you yesterday. Get it! It's okay, Blathers. You don't have to talk about the bug anymore. <laughs> oh, cool, P. Your cat's name is Margo and learning to tolerate playtime with a younger sister. Oh, yeah. Well, Margo has um, lived with other cats before and, like, gotten used to other cats, but I think we just threw a lot at, at her at one time. Like, we got two new kittens and then four days later we got a puppy. So, I think she's had a harder time adjusting. <laughs> But we still give her all the lovin's and all the pets. Ooh! Indeed, there could be no doubt that this is a fossil! Incredible! Wonderful! Remarkable! My intuition was impeccable! <laughs> yes, assess it, please. Woohoo! <laughs> and an um... Malocaris. Uh-huh. Sure, sure. Yes, yes. Uh-huh. Yes, take it. Take it away from me. I don't want it. Blathers when he sees bugs. Oh, I love that emote. That's so good. Uh... Oh, wait. Okay, well, they lived in water long before the dinosaurs and are known for their distinctive look. Flat bodies over three feet and length, bulging eyes like a dragonfly, antenna like shrimp tails. <laughs> They look so peculiar, people originally thought they were multiple fossils stacked on top of each other. Oh, cool. Uh, have you ever not played Animal Crossing for a while? I haven't played since August. I'm scared to go back to all my villagers being mad at me. It's okay, you just gotta rip the band-aid off. You just gotta go back, you have to be prepared that, that you're gonna be a little sad at what your villagers say, but it's... After that, it's gonna be like you never left. But yes, I have gone extended periods of times. Um without playing Animal Crossing a couple of times. It's always a little rough. <laughs> and it's like, they're mostly not mad, they're mostly sad, which is like somehow worse. Um, hi Salad, welcome in! Okay, we need seven more contributions. We are trying to get all the stuff we need to Blathers to open the museum. And get all the materials for Timmy and Tommy. We're opening the Nook shop. Oh, okay. Now I can donate the fossils. Oh, I still have to do them individually. Yeah, disappointing them hurts most of all. Exactly. Some of them just say nice things, like Whitney told me the island was better with me in it. Oh, that's so sweet. So not everybody will be mad or sad, hopefully. Uh, 
God, this really makes you appreciate how you can donate multiple things at a time. <sighs> it's wild that this island has fossils of literally just dozens of ancient creatures. This one little island. <laughs> Salad, thank you for specifying that Taco Bell is not an option. And also, I'm sorry that Taco Bell is not an option. Um... Wait, I can't donate a clam? Well, let me go try again. Ooh, pizza. Pizza sounds good. That's so weird. Clams are only for fish bait. That's so weird you can't donate one. Huh. Autofill for empty plots seems to not be a thing anymore. Really? Ooh, yeah. How do you get your plot for your next villager? What, what unlocks that next step? Fauna once assumed I was holed up with a good book and just asked that I share it with her when I was done. That's so sweet. I love that so much. Okay, we're gonna go collect all of the wood. Well, I do still need to... Uh... Chop the trees across the river, but... We will do that in time. Yes, Red Rum. This is my new island on Joey's Switch. Indeed. This is just our second day. Nook's Cranny will get you a plot. Okay, so that's our priority. I can wait a little bit on the museum. I would love to go villager hunting tomorrow. You have to either go to Nook Islands or wait and Tom will tell you he has them. But if you finish decorating them, they will autofill. Wait, huh? Um. Autofill still happens for me. I notice it takes a couple of days instead of just one. Well, that's nice. You need to build the bridge first, which is annoying. Oh, okay. So I, we probably won't get there today, and that's okay. Maybe we'll do a little bit of time traveling tomorrow. Because today I'm most excited about... Going to Korok to go to a new cap and island and go to Harvey's and check out the DLC... All that. But maybe we can get a little bit more done. Um, oh, we do have 30 hardwood. Let's go. I want to do... I want to catch a few more bugs for those Nook Miles. Whoops! Oh, shit. Oh, gosh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are you getting any of the new villagers for Junimo or Korok? Um, for Junimo, I would really like to get some. I don't think I'm going to replace any villagers on Korok. Whoops. Oh, jeez. Oh, my gosh. Ah! Oh, my God. <laughs> Dang it. Whoa! They can hop all the way across the river. That is wild. Uh, okay, what was I doing? Focus. Shoot. Oh my gosh! They jump so far! Ah! Yay! <laughs> Nook's cranny needs 30 of each. Wood and 30 iron nuggies. Yes. 
But you need all houses. What do you mean you need all houses? Like, um, your current villagers need to upgrade to houses instead of tents? Sheena would fit right in on Korok, for sure. I mean, maybe eventually. I might get to a place where I want to replace some villagers. It depends on how much time we spend revamping Korok. I might feel like it. It's possible. Oh, you go, Plucky. You get that butterfly. Watch this. Ouch! <laughs> <sighs> and then I'm just gonna release it. <laughs> Sucks. All the villagers need houses. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, I think Sasha's my number one um, wish for villagers on Junimo. As far as the new villagers go. Beak bonk. I was trying to get my stream latency down in the stats. It was negative for a moment. I guess I was in the future. Ooh, yeah, we're dropping a lot of frames today, Red Rum. Um, we were dropping even more yesterday. I think it's a Twitch server connection issue because my internet's good. Um, so... Yeah, if you're getting some more latency or frame drops, that is not your fault. To thank you, I'd like to offer you some athletic pants. Okay. Thanks so much, buddy. Yes, redeem. Hope changing the villager exteriors are going to be an option. It is, Andro. It was confirmed on Twitter today. Somebody showed it. You can absolutely redo your villager's house exteriors. It's very exciting. Oh my god. The options for what villagers I can have on my island are now endless. I'm so stoked. <laughs> Um, I know. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Can you redo your appearance at the wooden table mirror? Like, redo your hairstyle? It is only with the DLC. That is correct. Yeah, you have to have the Happy Home Paradise DLC. And you have to, like, do a certain number of houses in the DLC before you can do houses on your island. But still. Yes? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Thank you. So I am going to make that so I can go change my little hair. Oh, my pockets are full. Right, 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 right. You can redo it with every mirror. I just wanted to make sure it didn't need to be like a full length mirror or something. I wasn't sure. That does make sense. I'm going to sell him the athletic pants he just gave me. <laughs> I'm a menace to this whole island. Like, I'm so happy that I can have Bob on my island and I can redo his house to look like I want it to. And not just be, not just look like a bunch of primary colors. Nico's voice is so cute. Oh, I can't wait to meet them. Hi, Dan. How are you doing? Oh, I'm so excited. We're going to do just a little a little handful of more stuff here um, before switching over to Korok. Oh, it looks like it's going to rain. Um, yes, I did start a new island. Uh, this is on a different switch, so I still have my first island. So don't worry. Yeah, 
Yay, change it up. <laughs> I love that I still have my... Um, you know, eye patch. Okay, yes, yes, yes. I didn't even realize I didn't have brown eyes. It's so funny. Um... Hmm. I don't know which eyes I want. Probably these. Maybe these. Margo, whatever you're doing, stop it. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is what we're gonna look like for now. Oh, I feel much better. Wee! I look more like myself. Uh, Bobo! Hello! Welcome back for four months. Oh, whoops. Thank you so much for the resub, and thank you for using your prime here. You're too kind. Welcome, welcome back. Now, please go give Bobo Chat a follow if we could get a promo in the chat for them. Wonderful streamer. Lovely person. Great cook. Oh, I think Margo's found some treats. I think that's what's happening. Um, Oh, Miles. Oh, probably for changing my appearance. Yeah, great cook. Those empanadas. Chef's kiss. Oh, money. Um, oh, Summer Sickness, thank you for redeeming an ad. A mod could toss on an ad when you get a second. Thank you so much. You did it before I even asked. Thank you for funding uh, treats for the pets and for my Taco Bell. Yay! Okay, where are we with wood? Okay, we need more regular wood. Margo, I swear to God. Um, I think I have, no, that's fishing rod. Oh, I have both my, my, my axes, okay. So let's pop over. I go. <laughs> Let's pop over here. I'm gonna try to get all the wood and maybe we'll visit an island or two to try to get all the iron. Oh, there it goes. Everyone I follow is playing Animal Crossing and it makes me so happy. It makes me so happy. <sighs> I have just so much joy and serotonin in my heart. Oh, I was looking how much iron I had. I have more than two. I have some on the ground over on the other side of the river. I'll go check here soon. Margo's back on her bullshit with the treats. Margo, I will, I will get you treats in a minute if you just chill out for a second. So yeah, that's what we're going to try to do before we swap over to Korok, is try to get all the supplies for the Nook Shop. Okay, right now I'm just going to pick up soft, <laughs> soft wood and regular wood, because that's what I need. I've already gotten all of the, the hardwood. Feels like release week, but better, right? Doesn't it feel so good? Ugh. <sighs> Um, lovely wonders. Thank you so much for that 22 month resub. Welcome back to the plant fam. Thank you for growing at your own pace with us. Oh, I still don't have a slingshot. Shucks. That's okay. I'm just waiting for a wasp's nest to fall out. 
It's gonna happen. You all talked me into it, I got the DLC. Hell yeah, Tinker. Oh, I didn't need to pick that up. Um, I'm so, so excited for the DLC. Like, the fact that you get to redecorate your own villagers' houses and you get, like, the partition walls and the counters and all that. I'm so stoked. And I know I can chop down stuff from the peach trees. Oop, I gotta go make another another axe. Um, but I'm gonna I bet I can get all the wood I need without it. I'm also so ready to have a uh, like an axe where I can chop down trees. Ooh yay, okay, I got all of the regular wood I need. Need 20 more pieces of iron, though. Let's see what miles I got. Aggressive problem solver, that's me. <laughs> okay. Bought it this morning as well. I sadly work tomorrow. At least I got the day off today to play. Yes! Spend all that time doing exactly what you want. Hi there, Bree. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm sad they patched the fourth level uh, glitch in the 2.0 update. Aw, oh, but yeah, it is what it is. That's a bit of a bummer, but that's all right. Oh, I guess I need more sticks, don't I? Yeah, I need tree branches. <sighs> oh, that's true. I could just eat a fruit and dig up the tree. You're right. You're 100% right. I'm so silly. <gasps> sticks! Money! Stick! Stick! I think that's all I need. <laughs> Let's go. <gasps> Misha has an axe to grind. Nice. Nice. What's up, uh... Atelison? Please let me know how to pronounce your name. I would hate to be saying it wrong. Um... Do, yes, I very much have an island theme. I am going to make this island like an urban city that's been overgrown and reclaimed by nature. And I'm gonna have my character be the farmer. Um, but a very, like, effortless, aesthetic, like, TikTok, Instagram type of farming. Not like yeehaw farming, you know? Oh, whoops. Um. And then I want to have a magical, mysterious forest. Oh, I need to go over here. And I want to have an abandoned, like, carnival. I got a lot of plans. I got a lot of thoughts. You said it correct me. Atelison? Okay, awesome. You can call me... Um, oh, Eddie. Oh, I like Eddie. That's so cute. All right, you got it. Yeah, we're not yeehaw farming. We're... We're... <laughs> we're aesthetic... Uh, romanticized farming. I'm really, really excited to work with this theme because my first island, Korok Island, uh, was based on Breath of the Wild. Um, and I was very careful to work with the theme and like not use any type of modern technology and like only use items that you would find in like the world of Zelda. So, um... Yeah, didn't use any, any type of modern technology, so... I'm really looking forward to being able to use, like, modern technology and, um... You know, like, just street lights and the traffic signal and just all the things. It makes something more modern and, and urban, but also a touch of rural and overgrown. Oh, here we go. I better get... Better get some miles from this. Yes, I'm very much doing renovations um, to Korok. 
Definitely gonna be upgrading a few parts. <gasps> Miles, let's go! All right, y'all were right. Teary-eyed cry, baby. <laughs> Farming because we want to, not because we live in a capitalist society. Yeah, I have not seen all of the new items yet. I'm very, very tempted to look at a list of all the new items. Um, but I do want to, like, just discover things in the game naturally. So I'm very tempted uh, to look at all the items, but I kind of want to hold off. I'm gonna... Okay, I just need six more pieces of softwood. I'm gonna wait for now. But tomorrow or Sunday or I don't know. Sometime I might look at a list of all the new items. <laughs> you didn't trust us 100%. Shame on you. Yeah, how, why would I not trust you? You all have never led me astray or, or told me things that have gotten me in trouble in the game. Especially not when playing Hollow Knight. Oh, okay, there's a video playing. I thought Tyler was talking to someone very angrily. Oh my gosh, this tree gave me exactly what I need. Thank you so much. List of new items is much bigger than I expected. Yeah, it's thousands of items. I am so overwhelmed and so happy. <sighs> okay, now we just need Iron Nuggies. Lots to discover with the DLC. Oh, I can't wait. Oh my god. <laughs> do you always stream on Fridays? I do. I stream Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays, uh, 1 to 5 p.m. Eastern time normally. Um, we're streaming a bit earlier and later than normal because of the new update that I'm super duper excited about. Uh, but normally 1 to 5 p.m. Eastern, Thursdays through Sundays. Some blue plaint, plaint, some blue plaint floor, and let's go. It's legit the Dragon Ball meme over nine thousand. Wait. Oh, I gave him. Both stacks of wood. Okay, okay. Um. What what's my Nook Mile situation like? Ooh, I almost have two thousand, so I almost have enough to um Get another Nook Mile ticket, so maybe we could get the iron that we need? I don't know. Sure, I'm gonna make some log steaks. Why not? Oh yeah, let me go move that, um, that tree. That will get me some miles. I think I might have enough after this, though. Yeah! Okay, I'm gonna get another, another ticket. I'm in love with Wardell. Would die from my chunky son. Oh, I can't wait to meet him. I got a froggy chair for donating. Oh my god, I am so jealous. I have not gotten any great items yet, but that's okay. Oh, you need log stakes for the bridge? Hell yeah. Okay. We're just ahead of the ahead of the curve. What else did I just get miles for? Oh, I got miles for getting miles. Okay. <laughs> did anyone else see there were sticks in the water in the direct? I feel like that sounds familiar. But I can't quite remember. Uh, what am I doing? Okay, I'm gonna dig up this tree. Oh, thank you, Gropius Stino. I do have a ton of Nook Mile tickets on my Cor my island Korok, my first island, so 
I am actually all set on Nook Mile tickets. I just wanted to, you know, get a couple without having to. visit different islands. But thank you so much. I do appreciate it. Alright, so... I'm gonna be a bit of a litter bug. I'm gonna drop some more stuff. <laughs> um... I don't think I'll need much room in my pockets. I don't think it's a huge deal, but... Um, doing it anyways. Okay, and now we're gonna go visit a couple mystery islands, which... I kind of want to wait until I have villagers on those islands, but... I need iron. Which, I could get island iron from Korok Island, but I want to try and get it myself. Finally ordered dinner. Thanks everyone who suggested pizza. I listened and ordered pho instead. <laughs> Listen, pho is an absolutely excellent choice. I haven't had pho in a minute. Um, There was one time we were getting pho. I think it was the first time Joey and I ever got pho. Um, and Joey was putting the, what's the brown sauce? I can't remember, but he was putting that into his pho and the lid fell off and just a ton of it went into his pho. He was able to get some of it out. Gravy. Yeah, that's it. He was putting gravy in his pho. Thank you, Jillian. Plum sauce. Is it hoisin sauce? It's like a little thicker. It's like, it, I always want to say it's eel sauce, even though I know it's not. It's not just soy sauce, right? It's definitely thicker than soy sauce. Barbecue. Oh my god. <sighs> yes, time for takeoff. Good soup? It's hoisin? Okay. Why is just my left arm chilly? Must be cold air coming in through the window over here. Maple syrup. Chocolate. <laughs> y'all are ridiculous. <laughs> it's hoisin. Thank you. Thank you all who were actually helpful. All right, it's our first mystery island. <laughs> Thank you, Wilbur. Yeah, you be in a holding pattern. Pattern. You do that. Wait, there's a villager here, and I can't invite them. Oh my god, I forgot. I would lose my mind if it was a villager I wanted. Oh, you can invite them? Hi, Audie. I don't have an empty plot, though. Aww. I like Audie, but I don't really... Oh, the first three houses you build will go to them. Okay. Oh, for the first three, you invite them before you get the plots. Oh. Yeah, I don't think I want to invite her. I, I, I'm going to wait. She's very cute, though. When you place it and finish the items for it, it'll say she's moving in. Okay, gotcha. Well, that's awesome. I did not realize we'd be meeting some babies. 
She's like, what the heck is this lady doing? Oh my gosh, we are blessed. Look at that. Look at all that iron. You can sell her. People love her. Uh, yeah, I'm not super interested in selling villagers. Um, I just want to get villagers that I want. And if I have them move out eventually, I give them to, to somebody that uh, will give them a good home. I'm just gonna wait for a villager I want. I'm not gonna be super duper picky about the first few villagers, but Adi is very much not my vibe. But she is cute. Ooh! I got a gold nuggy. Ooh, I don't know if I've caught a monarch butterfly. No, I have. I remember the pun that we got. Look at all this iron. Oh my lord. I would take Adi from you at a later date, but you gotta get who makes you happy. Oh. Oh, I got a DIY recipe. Let's go. Yeah, I think for my first few villagers, I, I, I like I said, I'm not gonna be super duper picky, but I want to get some villagers that I do vibe with, and I just don't really vibe with Adi. Why did I just go? I literally just said I've already caught a butterfly. <sighs> I'm not into selling villagers. I love how dystopian that sounds. That's coming from a person who did uh, spend 10 million bells on Marshall in New Leaf. Can I buy a ladder? Nope. Um, okay, let me just look for- oh, I haven't done this rock yet. Hi, Rayla. You wanna come say hi? Hi, baby. You wanna come here? Come here. Come here. No? Okay, well. I love you. <laughs> okay, bye. <laughs> that was a very quick hello. She's just in here sniffing around. Margo's sitting on the desk. Well, never mind. <laughs> She's being a little nosy Nelly up here. Um... I'm sure she'll be back. <gasps> Nuggies! Oh my gosh! Ah! Oh my lord! Look at all this iron! So I just need four more pieces! Two more pieces! I can do math, it's fine. <laughs> cool, so we'll definitely get what we need on the next mystery island, and maybe we'll even get a villager that we want on the next island. I'm just gonna look for a DIY bottle. Look at all these iron! <laughs> DIY bottle, hello. There's not always a DIY bottle. Okay, there isn't one. If only I had a ladder, I could get up there. Wait! I could- wait, wait, it, do I have a recipe for a ladder? No, okay. <laughs> oh, I got the, the- the King Tut mask thing. It's not just a boulder, it's a rock! God, my boyfriend has never seen Spongebob because he wasn't allowed to watch it when he was a kid. Um, and I make so many Spongebob references, but he doesn't understand any of them. And I really want to, like, maybe I'll ask for that for my birthday. I want him to have a Spongebob marathon with me for him to just watch at least, like, the first couple, you know, seasons. So he can understand my references. <laughs> um, okay, so we're gonna go to one more island. Clay is used for so many recipes, so keep it. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm keeping all materials. Yeah. 
Yeah, Sal, that's what I'm thinking too. Like, it's probably one of those things where like, because when I was watching SpongeBob as a kid, I mean, I loved it, but my parents thought it was the most annoying thing, which I can understand. <laughs> so, you know. I, I I think it might be a little difficult for him to actually get into. Because there's, there's movies that you watch when you're younger that you love, or TV shows, but when you watch them when you're older, if you're watching them for the first time, you don't really <laughs> vibe with the comedy of it anymore. <sighs> But I kind of, I just want to try. I want, I kind of just want to try it. Didn't get cable until college. Yeah, I think Joey's family, um, I think they had cable, but like, his parents were just conservative. There was once an ugly barnacle. He was so ugly, everyone died. The end. <laughs> God, I love it so much. Yeah, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try to have him watch it. We'll see. Yeah, the older episodes for sure. The first few seasons, not the newer stuff. Um, no, nope, that's not. I thought I saw blue ears, but it's just the sky. Okay, who's it gonna be? Oh. It's Cookie. Oh. I kind of want to invite Cookie. I wouldn't keep her forever, but she's super cute. I know Cookie is like head canon trans icon of the villagers. I mean, look at her. She's the trans she's she's the trans flag. Look at those colors. I think I'm going to invite her. <gasps> That's you? Wow, a pair of celebrities on one island. Well, I'm a celeb in training, but it's still fab. Yeah, I think I'm gonna invite her. Dull. Wanna live on my island? <gasps> Gotta get everyone. Oh my gosh, everybody on the, the, uh, the pride postcard. That would be amazing. You hear that world? I'm moving to Junimo. Oh my gosh. Huh? Oh my gosh, moving? Okay. Yeah, so stressful. So much to do. Gotta calm down. Center yourself, Cookie. Find your happy place. Calm down. Whew. All better. So, all I've got to do is get this train going. Is talk to Tom Nook? Easy. I cannot wait to have a chic Junimo zip code. <laughs> What's Junimo's zip code? I don't even know that. Um, I almost forgot we were here to get iron. I'm just so excited about Cookie. She's such a cutie pie. Julie, yeah, Julia and Cookie, yes, are some of the trans icons. Yes. Oh, why did I dig those holes up? 42069. Oh my god, yes. <gasps> or 80085. Oh my god, those are two very good options. I feel like we'll have to we'll have to vote on it or something. Boobs or 42069. <laughs> okay, so we've got all the iron we need. Hell yeah. Um, I am still gonna hit the rest of these rocks because, you know, we're gonna need more supplies. Bo is my number one little guy. I love Bo so much. I definitely want to have Bo on this island. That's actually an answer to the question people asked earlier of if I have any specific villagers I want on Junimo, and I really, really want Bo and Bob. But Bob's been implied forever. Because he's my baby. Um, I love Bo so much. I had him on Korok for- wait, no. Wait, did I? Did I have Bo for just a little bit and then I moved him out because we had too many villagers or too many lazies? Oh, come on. <gasps> Freelancer! Thank you for gifting that sub to Novi. Novi, welcome back for your seventh month. 
Thank you, Freelancer. That's super duper kind of you. Whoop, gosh, I keep digging the wrong holes. There we go. Yeah, I got Eric instead. Or we kept- I can't remember- we might have had Bo and Eric at the same time, and then I moved out Bo. But yeah, I definitely want to move Bo back. I cannot make a poll because those numbers do not meet the community guidelines. What? It knows 42069 isn't appropriate, or does it know boobs isn't appropriate? Either way, I disagree. Oh, let's see if there's a DIY. What the fuck? If you have boobs as the zip code, then 420 and 69 and such can be street addresses. That is an excellent point. Ooh, DIY. <laughs> nice. <laughs> We found a workaround. Yep, gotta be creative. <laughs> um. Oh yay, a pile of cardboard boxes. Which, this will actually be a really good DIY for Junimo, so I'm glad we got it. Nice workaround. We love a creative mod team. <laughs> Twitch just hates fun. Alright, let's go home. We invited a villager... We got our iron. Let's go. Of all the numbers that are against community guidelines. Even Link disagrees. Um, and before I get banned for hacking. Well, we got staff here. He might, he, he, he just might. <laughs> um, what am I saying? No, I have not checked out the DLC yet, Mocha. Um, we are doing our second day on our new island of Junimo, and we are going to load up Korok Island and check out more of the update stuff and the DLC, uh, over there. We are just about done on Junimo because we got all the materials we need for, um, the Nook Shop. Oh, hi, Link. You're looking good today. You're looking very handsome. <laughs> oh, I love maple so much. Oh, how's this poll doing? Oh, y'all are big on big on boobs. Big on boobs for the for the zip code. You are a chat of taste. I see. I love it. Ooh, we get to pick the location! Hardly a surprise. Big on boobs is my middle name. <laughs> 80085, out. <laughs> um, get ready to spend the rest of the night playing the DLC so fun. Yeah, I feel like uh, out of everything, um... I'll probably play some of the DLC off stream as well as on stream. Um, okay, I think I'm gonna put the shop on the beach. <gasps> Hi, Dom. What's up? I heard you've been helping us build a shop. You're gonna be Junimo's MVP in no time, indeed, Aru. I found something that might help things along. Here you go. I was gonna make those iron nuggets into some weights, but having a shop sounds way cooler. The faster we get a shop, the faster I can just buy free weights. Go Team Junimo! Thanks, Dom. He gave me... I don't know how many he gave me. I think he gave me like five or ten? I don't even know. He gave me a good handful, though. Jesus. <laughs> Okay, let's see if there's enough room here. Oh, whoops. 
a little too close. Too close to the water. Okay, what about... Probably not. No. Okay. Um, There's Plucky sitting under another tree. Okay, this is... Th there's gotta be enough room right here. We go back a little bit. Yeah! Well, here, I'm gonna boop it back one spot. Perfect. Let me imagine it. Yeah! Less bells to spend later to move stuff. Wee! Cool! So we'll have the shop tomorrow? Question mark? Um, I know we still need to donate some more bugs to Blathers. Um, see if there's anything else Tom Nook tells us about before we move over to Korok. You put up this shop construction kit. We got our work cut out for us if we're going to open by tomorrow, but I can't wait. Ah, uh, Misha. Hello, hello. What would you like to talk to me about? I'm all ears. That is the question. I should thank you for gathering all those materials for the shop. You're quite resourceful. Maybe I should be asking you for advice on how to build up the island. Maybe you should. All right. Yeah, I think we're going to call it a day here on Junimo, and... Move over to Korok, but we will be playing um, on Junimo tomorrow, doing the next day. We might do a little bit of time traveling tomorrow to get some new villagers or just progress things a little bit. We'll see. Um, but I think we're going to we're going to wrap up on Junimo for now.